say hello to Seymour Brock out of Washout, Indiana. This is where he lives. The problem is nobody recognizes his worth, especially his boss, Rita Hardaway, a knockout gorgeous lady. Yes, Seymour's problem is his worth goes unnoticed in today's cyber world. With all the laptops, iPhones, and Blackberries, hardly anybody bothers to look up from their machines to look you in the eye, let alone to actually listen to what you have to say. An understated, undervalued guy like Seymour suffers a life of quiet desperation. Seymour could have twittered Rita off her feet. He did have a way with words, but that wasn't his way. Working on copying machines is about as close as he ever wanted to get to the cyber world. Besides, he thought tweeting was for the birds. So he goes to a tarot card reader and a weird thing happens. For a hundred dollars, she hands him a hammock, tells him to buy two palm trees from realpalmtrees.com and go home. Everything will be just fine. She sounds a little like the lady from the Matrix. Although disappointed, he does call realpalmtrees.com and asks for two trees, and the guy tells him he's lucky because they have a special palm tree today. He's very helpful and explains everything about palm trees. The guy knows everything about palm trees. He goes on to say the palm trees that he's offering today, one, cut off communication with the outside world and slow everything down to half speed. And finally, they come with a gentle breeze that relaxes you. Seymour, only half hearing, says yes to the guy, who sounds very much like the fortune teller, and the tree magically arrives right after he gets off the line. Seymour has no trouble planting it, and even hangs the hammock without any problems. Two minutes later, Rita appears magically in front of the palm tree, telling him that she's been trying to get a hold of him for an hour, but she gets no signal. Se Seymour thinks it's those damn palm trees. They're working. She also tells him that they are on alert for a big rush order that is about to be phoned in. Just then, a gentle breeze sambas its way through the palm trees and lifts Rita's sundress up a la Monroe. Seymour looks down at the promised land, but unlike Moses, he is allowed to enter into it. Then, a strange thing happens. She looks into his eyes for the first time. Later, looking at the palm trees, Seymour realized two things. One, making love to Rita was a fantasy that lived up to its billing. Two, he did a bang-up job in the hammock, but had never been able to even get into a hammock before. It had to be those damn palm trees. If you've learned anything here today, you should know that if you want any kind of true happiness in your life, you should get over to realpalmtrees.com and buy those damn palm trees.